Let's come into our mountain pose to get started and see where we go from there. So feet hip with apart, toes straight ahead, ankled knees, hips and shoulders lined up. Shoulders back and down, get that heart nice and open. Crown reaching to the ceiling. Activate your core, so ribs towards your spine and up, getting that lower back supported. Just relax your arms, close your eyes and focus inward. Spread your toes out, lengthen your spine, breathe. And get into your inner yoga focus. And keep that inner perspective, knowing that that's when you're in your yoga perspective. Inhaling, bring your arms up to shoulder level, keeping the shoulders down. Stretch out through your head and fingertips. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, keep those shoulders down. And then exhale, clasping your hands behind you. Press the hands, fingers to the floor, lift your heart, stretch your head back, spread your toes, nice upper body back bend. And then pivot at your hips, exhale, and come on over. Hands up toward the ceiling, toward your head. Let those shoulders do a little work. Move your chin around, release your neck. And then slightly bend your knees, lift your ribs, drop your sitting bones, and wind up from the bottom of your spine all the way up through to the top of your head. Shoulders coming down, heart rising, coming into that back bend one more time. Feel the weight on both feet evenly. Inhale, come on up, release your arms. Take a moment feeling that energy increase through your body, warming your spine. And again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and exhale, clasp the hands behind you, just fingers in one position over. Lift your heart and stretch back through the head. Pivot over at your hips, exhale, deepen as much as you like. Head toward your legs, hands toward your head. Take a breath or two and again, slowly work your way back up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, stretch your head back. And again, a nice back bend as you lift that chest. Keep breathing, keep lengthening, and inhale, coming up. Release, coming back in the mountain pose, observing how your body feels. And we'll do our side stretches. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp the fingers and bring your arms back by your ears. Stretch up through the fingers and head and only no twist over to the side, opening those ribs. Feel that other side contract. Push this, let your linear away from down. Get that. Expansion through your ribs a little more. And then inhale back to the center. Keep the shoulders down, so switch the other hand to the front. And again, arms by your ears, everything lined up straight, lean to the other side. Once more, just go as far as you feel appropriate for your body, stretching it out, and push the foot down, getting those ribs opening even more. Make sure you're not leaning forward with that top shoulder. And feel that lateral spine movement. And then inhale back upright and release to mountain pose. Feel the spine activated a little bit more, bringing the arms again to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Go ahead and clasp your elbows. We'll stretch the spine apart so it can move into your twist. And then exhale and turn to one side. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can as you exhale and pivot over. And just deepen as much as you'd like into that position. Lift your hips and sitting bones, relax your shoulders. Feel the twist as you inhale and come back up, staying in the twist with the weight on both feet. Lift your heart as you get to the top and upper body only for that back bend. Gentle always when you're in the twist. On that lower back. Take a breath, relaxing, shoulders down, or up. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, we'll lengthen that spine apart and exhale to the opposite side. A breath in and exhale over. And again, feel the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. 
Relax the shoulders, keep the arms by your ears. And again, on an inhalation, work your way up into that upper body through the back bend. Heart high, elbows back, shoulders down. And again, just feel that whole chest opening, spine lengthening, and don't forget to breathe. And inhale, coming up, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips up, coming into extended mountain. Let's stretch one side high, coming up on your opposite toe, getting that rib area again opening. Exhale that one down, up on the other side. Remember, the foot is flat on the side, you're stretching, the other one is up, heel lifted. Exhale down, do it again. Just get those ribs opening, that whole side expanding, and down. And then once more, inhaling and stretching. And both arms back up into extended mountain. Shoulder, shoulder blades, sitting bones down. Core active. Pivot at your hips. Keep the arms next to your ears. Come into that parallel to the floor. Pivot. Stretch it out. And then drop into ragdoll and just hang. Arms going wherever they hang. Pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs if you want that extra back stretch. And then arms to the front, chin tucked slightly in, and slightly lifted as you come slowly back up. And again, shoulders back and down into mountain pose. Take a moment there. Again, just feel a little bit more warmth through your whole body as we're ready to do our balance practice. So find your favorite balance foot. Remember, always start with the easier one. Lift the toes, get that ball of the foot, base of the toe area really connected. Barbie feet, lifting that heel just slightly and then putting it down. Keep that arch lifting the whole outside of your foot down. Make sure that those toes are not gripping. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up. So remember, you may need to roll in at the top of the thigh to make sure that alignment is keeping that knee toward the second toe. Core active, get that spine aligned and supported. And then bring your other foot up. And again, roll in, not out, because you don't want to cross the foot over. Bring the foot up as high as it wants to come. You can pull the knee in toward your heart. You can wrap your hands around or not, your choice. And then when you're comfortable and stable, work your ankle both ways. Just see what happens. Keep it nice and working so we don't get those stiff old lady angles. And then flex and point before you put the foot back down, getting ready to transfer to the other side. Again, aligning everything. Or activated, shoulders relaxed, crown to the ceiling. And when you've got that side stable, remember, lift those toes, don't work, and bring your knee up. And again, don't cross the leg over. Make sure that it's just straight as you begin working your ankle around. Both directions. And once again, straighten it out and return it to the mat. Take a breath, just relaxing and feel your body. And then a little squat with your knees. We're going to bring um, another balance practice. So get into your balance foot and then bring the other foot up and cross it over ankle at the knee, knee out toward the side. And then just squat maybe a little deeper, maybe hands to your heart. So just a little figure four kind of squat there. Find your balance, breathe, stabilize. And when you're ready to release, that foot comes to the front and back down. And we'll take that and work the other side. So again, make sure everything's lined up first. Squat a little bit, both knees going toward but not beyond your second toes. Sitting bones toward the floor core, nicely activated, bring that other foot up. And again, just cross at the ankle, knee out toward the side, find your stability. And if you're ready, bring those hands to your heart. So the hips are a little bit pushed back. And the crown or the ceiling, more or less. Find your stability, keep breathing. And again, when you're ready to release, 
knee to the front, foot to the floor, coming back into mountain pose. Exhale all that balance, stress, and tension. And bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, following the thin fingers up toward the ceiling. A nice upper body back bend, lifting your heart, pulling those thumbs back. Feel your whole spine stretch. Exhale, follow the hands to your heart. Pivot at your hips. Drop into ragdoll. And just take a moment, letting everything release. Lift your sitting bones, straighten your knees. Slide your hands up under your knees on your shins, coming into your halfway up stretch. Lengthen through the spine, shoulder, shoulder blades toward your waist, and the whole body straight and stretching. Exhale back down, just relax. And again, palms together, inhaling toward the ceiling. Another back bend, just because it's good for our spines. And then exhale into mountain pose. Take a moment and let those toes angle out a little bit. Knees going toward your toes so the whole leg is turning out. Bend your knees toward but not beyond those second toes. And hands above your knees. Shoulders right above your toes to start with. We're doing a twist, so stretch that spine apart. And exhale, turn your whole body toward the side as you bring your shoulder across and down toward that opposite. So hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning, looking toward the side, not just your neck. Stretch it out, relax into it. Take another breath and exhale back to the center. And of course, we're going to do that to the other side. So stretch the spine apart. Exhale, turning, twisting, lowering that shoulder toward the knee. That hip is going to come a little bit further back as you ribs, hips, ribs, and shoulder turn to the side. Stretch it out. Keep breathing, maximizing or minimizing. Remember what's right for you. Exhale, turn back to the center. And then round your spine, drop your shoulders, and slowly work your way back up. Shoulders back and down, toes to the front. Come back into mountain pose, and again, hands to your heart. Inhale, hands toward the ceiling. Separate them and swan dive. So bring the hands out, shoulder level, pivot at your hips, chest bleeding, and all the way parallel to the floor. Stretch straight through your spine, drop into right down. Again, up into that halfway up stretch. Lengthening and stretching everything, elbows, knees, and spine straight. And then bend your knees, come all the way to the floor. So coming into our child pose transition, bring your hips back on your heels, hands next to your feet, forehead down toward the floor. And just take a moment and relax. Let that whole spine get a good stretch and release. Knees together, get a good back stretch on your lower back or separate Breathe more easily. And then bring your arms out to the front. Pivot up. Bring your knees under your hips, toes straight back. And then let's bring the forearms down to the floor. And then straighten your legs and bring the base of the toes again, ball of the foot area down onto the floor with those toes curled under. And your shoulders above your elbows, coming into forearm plank. So core activated, ribs toward your spine and up toward your heart. Push back through your sitting bones and heels and out through the crown. And just get as planky as you can. If you need to, bend a little bit at the hips, but don't sink them. Take a breath. Exhale and just breathe. And then bring your knees to the floor, straighten your toes, lower your body, turn your head to the side, hands, palms up, and rest in crocodile. Exhale, just relax your whole body down. And on another exhalation, turn your head to the other side. Let the neck stretch evenly. Take a moment and breathe. Exhaling to the chin. And then turn your forehead toward the floor. 
Turn your hands, palms down. Put your fingers, palms, hands under your legs and hips. And then slide your chin forward and settle your shoulders down toward the floor as much as you can. So we're going to stretch the legs back, hip width apart, and then focus on the right leg. Keep it straight and keep the hips both down, pressing into those arms or the floor, and lift the foot as far as it wants to go up. So the hips both stay down, hip bones sinking into the floor or your arms, and that foot rising with the knees straight, going only as far as you want. So low back strengthener also helps tone those abs. Chin sliding forward, if that's too much, you can turn your forehead back to the floor if your neck doesn't like that. Take a breath, shoulders down, stretch that foot out, maybe lift it a little higher, press those hip bones down, and then exhale, lowering the leg. Turn your forehead to the floor, you can release your arms if you need a little release on those shoulders also. And of course, we're gonna do the opposite side. So once again, forehead to the floor, hands, palms down, arms under the legs, and chin sliding forward. Toes sliding back, focusing on the left leg this time. So push both left toes through the base of the toes, keep the hip bones down into your arms to the floor, and again, raise that foot as much as you want, extending, spreading those toes, maximize that lift, only as much as your body needs for that lower back to work a little bit. Chin sliding forward or put your forehead back down if that neck needs a little release. Take a breath, push the fitting the, or the hip bones rather down and the foot up maybe a little bit more. Keep stretching out through the toes, spread them out. And then on an exhalation again, just slowly lower that leg to the floor. Forehead to the mat and release those shoulders. Take a few breaths there, just feel your body. And of course, we're going to do both feet together. So remember, personal practice, do what's right for your body. You can do the palms down version, or you can lift your hips a little bit, clasp your fists underneath you, and then press the pelvis down onto the hands and arms. And again, chin slides forward, either fisted or palms down, shoulders down toward the floor. Feet hip width apart, stretch back through the base of the toes again, all of the foot area, and then keep stretching it out as you bring those feet both up off the floor as evenly as you can. Again, you can put the forehead on the floor if you need to release that neck area a little bit. Push the hips, sitting bones, or Hip bones down, lift the feet. So sitting bones aren't doing anything. So reach out through the feet, up through the feet, out through the chin or forehead to the floor. Shoulders down toward the mat. And again, just lift as high as they want to go with those hips down. Hip bones sinking into the floor or your arms. Take a breath, maybe a little harder. And then still reaching out through your toes, go ahead and exhale those feet down. Release your arms, turn your forehead to the mat. Bring your hands under your shoulders and push back into child's pose. So a nice forward bend, letting that low back get a good stretch where we were contracting it in that locust position. Take a breath, just really relaxing. And then inhale, sitting up on your heels, slide off, and bring your legs all the way to the end of the mat. Feet hip width apart, or activated, spine nice and straight up through the crown. And keeping that core working for you, just slowly lower onto the mat. So come onto your lower back, sacrum, ribs, shoulder blades, shoulders, and head. Take a moment in the recline integration, just let your body relax a little bit. Push your sitting down slightly toward your heels. Push your lower back into the floor, just gently bending your knees. Bring your heels up right next to your sitting bones on the floor. 
So remember, you want the knees straight up, not rolling out to the side. So again, that little rolling at the top of the thigh sometimes helps that. So press the back down, sitting down slightly toward the heel, getting that whole spine connected, feel a little contraction there in that midsection. And then we're going to do another back strengthener and core retainer. So we're going to slide the sitting bones back up toward your shoulder blades as you lift the ribs up toward the ceiling, getting a space under your lower back. Shoulders stay on the floor. You can have the hands near you or out to the sides. It doesn't matter where they are. So we're just going to exhale, sitting bones toward your heels, whole spine pressing down, contracting those abs a little bit. Keep those knees straight up, not spreading apart or caving in. And again, lifting the ribs, sitting bones coming back, and arching up as much as you want. Remember, personal practice. So you may do it just a little, you may do it a lot. It just depends on what your body likes. So follow your breath, exhale it down, inhale into the back bend, just feeling that spine doing the work and that toning going on through the abdominal area, just gently. And of course, on your own, you'll want to do these a whole lot more. This is a really good one because it's nice and gentle, but it really helps to strengthen your spine and tone those abs muscles, giving you even better posture when you're standing up. But for now, just come back to a neutral position. Relax your shoulders and bring the arms out to T position. Let's do it, palms down. Press the whole back to the floor, sitting so about slightly toward the heels. And then with the feet up off the floor, raise your feet up toward the ceiling. Flex the feet and get as perpendicular as you can with those legs toward the ceiling compared to your body. So take a moment there, just feel. So your abs are doing work right now. Just even if you are just raising those legs and pushing those bottoms of your feet up toward the ceiling. You'll feel the hamstrings back of the leg giving a nice little stretch. And you'll feel that core doing some work as you support those legs being straight up toward the ceiling. Shoulders, palms down, gives you a little bit more support through that upper body. Take a moment there, just feeling what's going on for you. Keep breathing. And you don't even have to do anything else to get a nice little core workout with this particular exercise. But we're going to do a little bit more. So just exhaling, slowly lower one leg down. And just bring it slightly above the floor, not all the way down. And let it push out through the bottoms of both feet and just kind of hover that foot just a little bit off the mat. And then inhale, bring that one slowly back up. And again, just push up through the bottoms of both feet, feel what's going on. Take a breath. If you need to take a break, you can just bend those knees a little bit. Maybe give yourself a little roll on that lower back and then bring the feet back up. So again, hands, palms down, right at T position, feet pressing up as perpendicular as you can, straighten the knees as much as you can. And we'll take the other leg down. So again, just slowly lowering it. You want to feel being in control. It's not just falling toward the floor and it's not going all the way to the mat. So just take it over above the mat. The other foot pushing still up toward the ceiling as much and straight as you can. Take a breath. Exhale, maximizing or minimizing. And then bring that leg slowly back up next to the other one. And again, as you get back up, just so into that lower back, deepening into that connection. Feel that core working. Notice how your body is responding today. And of course, you know, Yes, we're going to do both feet together this time. So once again, shoulder, shoulder blades down, palms toward the floor, get that connection through the upper body. Feel that core area working. And we're going to lower the heels, leading with the heels, pushing out through the bottoms of the feet. And only go as far as you can before you feel that arching up through your spine. So if it's real arching, just stop and hold it there as you move. Go as far toward the floor, but not to the floor. Push out through the bottoms of your feet. And when you're ready, just bring those legs back all the way up. And again, push through the feet. Press down through the spine. Relax through the shoulders. And take a moment to breathe. 
And then bending your knees, bring the legs slowly up straight and lower them to the floor. Take a moment, breathing and relaxing as you get into that position. Feel your abs, let them soften and relax. Turn your hands, palms up. We're going to do a twist. And again, it's going to work the abs a little bit. So be gentle if you need to. Sitting bones toward your heel, back pressing down. Bring that right leg up. Keep it as straight as you can. We're going to roll all the way to the left side. Keep your head down. Bring your foot to the floor and your hand all the way to touch the other one in front of you. So you're all the way on your left side. Hold the foot with your left hand or the leg with your left hand and bring your right hand above your shoulder toward the ceiling. Look up at it and keep the back of the hand going straight out at shoulder level, opening that heart as you lower into the twist. So your hand may not make it to the floor, that's okay. Just go as far as gravity will bring you. That's your middle back twisting. Turn your head and look at it, that's your neck twisting. And the more you hold the foot and push it away from you on that foot that's extended and being held, you'll feel that lower back in the twist a little bit more. If you need to, you can have the hand on your leg or you can have a pillow under that foot if that lower back is an issue for you. And again, deepening only as much as your body wants. Just relax into your twist, don't force it. Let gravity bring the hand toward the floor if it isn't already there, it's okay. It'll do what you need to when it's ready. Just breathe, exhale, release the ligaments and let gravity do the work. And of course, on your own, hold this longer. But for now, just release that foot, roll onto your back, flex the heel, and again, use your core for support as you lower the leg next to the other leg. As it gets down, just take a moment and breathe, getting ready to, yeah, twist to the other side. Sitting down toward your heels, press the back down gently, shoulders relaxing, palms up. And again, bringing that left leg to the ceiling. You can keep it straight as you bring it up or bend it. Just do what's right for you. Other leg stays straight up on the floor. This time we're rolling all the way to the right side. Hands together, foot down. Keep the head down. Don't overwork that yet. And again, hold the foot or the leg, whatever works for you. Keep it as straight as it will be. And bring your what's that, left hand to the ceiling. Keep looking at that hand as the palm is up and the back of the hand lowers forward at shoulder level behind you into your choice. Feel that heart area open. Your hand may be up in the air, that's okay. Just let it be wherever it goes for that middle back twist. Keep turning your head for the neck area twist. Remember, gentle if you need to be in that neck area. And hand and foot pushing away on that front leg or bending it if you need a little bit more gentle release to that lower back twist. And again, deepen as much or as little as your body wants as you breathe. Make sure you're exhaling and letting those ligaments release and just deepening the twist as your body becomes ready. And again, lower only as far as it wants to go. Never force a twist. And we'll release for now because we need a little relaxation time. So let go of the foot, roll onto your back, flex the heel, use your core for support, and lower the leg next to the other one on the mat. And as it gets down, just straighten everything out, bringing your hands, palms up near your hips at your sides. Shoulders down, relax the whole heart area open. Toes toward each other and then just relax. Take a deep breath, move your head side to side, and let that neck relax a little bit more also. And deepen into that earth support as you exhale. Let your body just grow heavy and sink. Deepen that earth embrace, letting your body go. No need to concentrate on any part of your body, just let it soften and sink. And as your body sinks into that earth embrace, just allow your awareness to release your body. And as those thoughts release, other thoughts will come to you. Just let them drift away as easily as your breath. There's no need to anticipate the future. No need to remember the past. 
No need to think about any content. Just let the thoughts flow in and out as easy as your breath, without awareness. And let your attention release both your body and your mind. Allow it to turn inward. And just follow that awareness deep into the peace, deep within. Feel your body, feel your mind, and just be peace. Or you feel like relaxing even longer today. Take as much time as you have. But if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels right for you today. Breathing more fully and stretching more completely when you are ready to do so. And when you're ready for your final hug of appreciation, just bring your same bones toward your heels and your heels toward your hips. Draw your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And to release, just bring your head and feet to the floor. Roll to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today. Thanks for joining me.